Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 559. Uh, we're finding ourselves finally into another CrossFit gym, not in my, my parents' garage anymore, so the apparatuses look a little bit more official. Well, we're in, we're in Keystone CrossFit, this is Coach Tim, and uh, he's gonna help us out for today. This is our progression from yesterday. What you noticed yesterday is uh, we moved down to a horizontal position, right? And uh, look <laughs> at, he wants to be in top. What's his name? Reagan. What? Reagan. Reagan, Reagan uh, wants to be a superstar today, so he could be on there as well. What we did yesterday is we moved to a horizontal position and we really worked on keeping that hollow rock because uh, as me and Tim were, describing to each other before is there's really two things that we see a lot of people do all the time when they can't get a muscle up or can't do them efficiently and that's one either they break that hollow rock position or they can't get the rings high enough or low enough in their body so this is a way in which we can progress from on the ground to uh, kind of eliminating that back support so it gives you a little bit more or challenges you a little bit more to stay in that hollow rock position what we have here is we have a bar that's set up uh, we'd say it's about probably chest level, but it'll be dependent on, on that person, uh, torso length, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of change that just a little bit as well. And then we have a fixed object. In this case, we put ourselves a box with a uh, couple of weights there. Because what Tim's gonna do is just jump into that setup here for me. Uh, it, it's not a bad idea to ban these as well. Uh, we're just kind of play, playing it dangerous, right? So to ban these or put a bunch of weights on, probably be a great idea as well so the bar doesn't fly off and we don't kill ourselves, right? Um, so do this at your own risk, right? So either way, what we see is what Tim's gonna be able to do is he's gonna be able to extend his hips. And he's gonna be able to try to bring almost straight arms, right? With, uh, and bring his wrists down towards his hips, right? And uh, just like the, I showed a couple episodes ago, what you see there is you see the bar bring yourself, or you see yourself bring the bar to the access point. Because if the, if the bar comes to your hips, then it takes a lot less effort just to swing on over, right? Um, so go ahead and, and just give me a couple reps from right there. All Tim's gonna do is he's gonna extend. Oh, sorry, he jumped up right way in front of me. But we're gonna reverse back just for a second. All Tim's gonna do, he's too good, he's too good. That's what happens when you're part of the gymnastic staff, right? Just, uh, so what Tim's gonna do is he's just gonna stop, just bring your hips right to the bar and come back down, right? So each time, you see how he's extending his hips? The big thing is hip extension, hip extension, do like two more. Hip extension, hip extension. You see where the bar comes each time? It's way below his belly button, so it makes it so easy to be able to flip back over, right? So now what Tim's gonna do, come on over. Now what Tim's gonna do is after he gets that hip extension, we're gonna reclose the hips, right? Is that, is that how you explain it? Do we... Sure. Sure? Yeah. So I like to think of it as, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to get from a hollow body position to an arch body position, and then back to hollow to bring myself up on top of the bar. I like that, that sounds nice. That sounds beautiful. See, that's what you, you come here for the elegant terms, all right? So, so go ahead, jump on back up there. And what you're going to see is he's going to come from the hollow. Say that. You say it. You say it. You so, said it so nice. Arch, hollow, arch. Arch, hollow, arch. Show me arch. Show me hollow. Show me arch. Beautiful. Arch, hollow, arch. One more time. You explain it as you do it. So we'll be uh, hollow here, then arch then hollow again in the transition over. Okay, so if we were to break hollow in, your hips are gonna be slightly closed, right? Closed. And as when we get to the arch position, your hips are gonna be opened as much as they can, right? right? And that explosive arching position is kind of what gets us that vertical translation upwards. Right. And then we go back to the hollow position to yep. transverse over. So the snap from, from uh, arch, from hollow to arch raises you up, and then from arch to hollow, Flips you over. Up on top. Right, right, right. So the second, want, I mean, right now we're we're not having. There's not a lot of tension in our in our whole body from shoulder to toe or from our hands to our toes because we're modifying it with the box. But when you when you go to the full version, it'll be Good. tension from head to toe. Love it. Okay. So one more. Let's uh, let's put this all together. Just one one more real quick. So we're gonna start right here. Uh, this is gonna be our modified hollow position. He's gonna come up and he's gonna get to the arch position, raising. Uh, kind of exploding his hips, and then right there when he comes back to the hollow position again, we get right back over. So you can see, this is gonna replicate what we did on the ground yesterday, except no longer do we have support, so there's a greater challenge at keeping that hollow position cool. Yep. How, uh, how, how long would you practice this for? Do you think it's more sport uh, or specific to that person? Uh, I think it's very specific to the athlete. Um, 
I, what I like to do is I like to see an athlete be able to bring their hips to the bar using that using that muscle up, the kip, throw the muscle up, and when they can get their hips to the bar hanging, uh, they're a lot closer to getting the muscle up. So cool, cool. I would practice this uh, until you can do it. On, on Got the it. So we would stay at this position until, heck, what's just wrong with this? So we stay at this position until you can bring in that same hollow, hollow position? Yeah. So then it's going to be something like... Uh, exactly. Got it. So that's and that's that kind of like to the rings as well. So that's kind of like our little gate. Once we can once we can pass yeah. this gate, then we can move back to the uh, we can move on to the transition. Absolutely. Cool. Tim, thank you so much. As not, as always, your knowledge is wonderful and you speak eloquently. Thank you. So I love it. So guys, until tomorrow, we're optimizing function. Talk to you. <laughs>